Alright, so many of you using the Logitech G29 steering wheel have been asking one thing. How can I fix my steering wheel to show up in the Crew 2 settings? After having this problem myself, I said, hey, let me put this in a video, maybe it will work for you as well. So what happened in the first place? The thing is, I've moved over from Logitech gaming software to the new application, which is Logitech G Hub. Now, I've enjoyed the new app, but obviously there were some problems with it. My steering wheel stopped working in the Crew 2. But I've seen this reported to happen in some other games as well, like Project Cars, F1, etc. To solve this, follow my steps closely and you'll have the wheel working in no time. First, make sure you had the wheel connected at least once so the drivers are properly installed. Now, open up Regedit and then run it as administrator. And make sure you are going specifically to this path. So it's computer, H key, local machine, system, current control set, control, media properties, private properties, joystick, OEM. And then specifically to this one, which is VID underscore 046D and PID underscore C24F. Now you'll see here you have Logitech G Hub. 29 driving force racing wheel USB. Now this name is not wrong, but what's happening is that if the game devs haven't added specifically this name, the wheel will be recognized just as a generic gamepad instead of a G29 steering wheel. So the way to fix this, you'll have to put um, something else in the OEM name. And that is the current one, which doesn't work for me. It does work in some games, but not in others. You have two options, and you'll have to try them out to see which one works the best for you. But for me, the first one is the one that is the magic combination. That means I'll just copy over this name and replace it in here. And doing this, I'll be able to have the game showing up in the settings uh, first of all in the crew too because that's the game i'm mostly playing and was affected by this and i'm also uh, gonna reconnect the steering wheel in order to make sure it takes up the new settings so i'm gonna do that just now and there it goes a little bit of noise because obviously it's doing the calibration but now, again, is the same thing. So when I'm checking in the software, it's working as supposed, just as it was um, before. But now I'm going to show you that in-game, the story is a little bit different. So now when you head over to the settings, you will see, first of all, that the wheel controls button is not grayed out anymore. So that means you can click on it and obviously you can change all the settings you want. And now the wheel is properly recognized in-game. I hope this helped you out and if it did drop a like and if you want to see my content in the future go ahead and subscribe I'll appreciate it. Have a good one.